Hey, I'm John Cannell, and today on Preppy Kitchen, we're making a delicious brunch favorite, chicken and waffles. So let's get started. First off, we will be marinating our chicken. It is very important. So into a large bag or a bowl if you're using that, one cup of cold whole buttermilk, two teaspoons of garlic powder, one, two, two teaspoons of onion powder, one teaspoon of salt, and half a teaspoon or so of paprika. I also want two teaspoons of hot sauce, so add that in. You can add more or less depending on your spice preference. Okay, I'm gonna mush this up a little bit to combine the ingredients. Now I'm gonna add in four boneless chicken thighs. These have lots of fat in them, so they're really gonna fry up well and just be delicious. In you go. If you wanna double the recipe, it's beyond easy. Go ahead and double it. And if you just wanna sneak in one or two more pieces of chicken thigh, that'll work. Okay, get some of the air out. Seal your bag. Mush it up one more time. And this is gonna go into the fridge for at least three hours or overnight. This is so important because one, it's flavoring the chicken, but the buttermilk is a weak acid. It's also gonna tenderize the chicken too, so it's gonna be doubly delicious. Into the fridge, but we'll be back with the magic of editing. I'm from Los Angeles, and if you are too, you know the place to go for chicken and waffles is Roscoe's. So when I was in college, after class, I would go with my friends and have like a nice leisurely meal, talk about the day, and it is one of my favorite memories. Today, I'm gonna recreate this with my waffle recipe and my fried chicken recipe, bringing them together for a salty, sweet, crunchy extravaganza. I'm really excited for this recipe, so let's get back to it. My chicken's been in the fridge for an appropriate amount of time, so it's time to get to our dredging station. But before I do that, I wanna have a quick word about the waffles. You can use any waffle that you love for this. I love my recipe from Preppy Kitchen, so I made a batch off camera. I'm just whisking it up now. It's so simple, it's like the dry ingredients in one bowl, the wet ingredients in the other, and these waffles are heavy on the sugar and the butter and the milk. So they're really, really rich, but they're gonna crisp up so nicely. Combine the dry into the wet, grab a whisk, and just bring it together. Never over mix your batter. I also have my waffle iron heated up so it's gonna be nice and hot and I can just cook up a few batches of these. This recipe, by the way, makes like eight or 12 waffles or something, so I'll use four today. The rest go into the freezer and you can just pop them into the toaster and have a delicious treat in the morning. Okay. Waffle batter aside, now for our dredging station. In a shallow dish, I added one and a half cups or 180 grams of all-purpose flour. Now I'm adding one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of onion powder. By the way, you could use all of your favorite spices for this, like really go to town if you want it hot and spicy. My kids are not feeling that vibe, I've tried. <laughs> teaspoon of garlic powder and as much black pepper as you'd like. I'm gonna sneak in an optional dash of chili powder. Don't tell anybody. Give us a quick mix. Before I dredge my chicken, I'm gonna set my oil over medium heat. I don't like doing this too far ahead because life gets in the way. So the kids will call me, I'll forget, and I'll come back to the kitchen and it's gonna be 400 degrees and it's too hot. We'll let it come to 350. In the meantime, I'm gonna dredge the chicken and make some waffles. Scoop a third of a cup of batter into your waffle maker. These are so good. We have waffles every single Sunday. Not always chicken and waffles. And this recipe is seared into my mind. If you want it, click up here for the video. It is a must make recipe. Let's go back to the chicken now. Waffles are cooking, oil is heating. Let's dredge our chicken. Grab a thigh and plop it into your dredge. I'm gonna spoon some of the flour over the top. Get good coverage, then set it aside. I'm using a little quarter sheet pan. Repeat that process. Sprinkle over, a little more coverage. Okay, there we go. Okay, the first one's always the darkest, but I actually like it that way. That's my waffle. Repeat the process. My oil is just above 350. Monitor the temperature because when you pop a bunch of cold things in here, your oil gets cold too. So you might have to increase the temperature and then decrease it back again constant ebb and flow. Shake any excess flour off of your chicken and we're gonna pop these right in. Ooh, I love that. I love the sound of beeping. I love that. You can fry these all together. Now that is a boil. 
Our chicken's gonna fry for about 10 minutes until it is golden brown and cooked through. In the meantime, finish the last batches of your waffles. Always cool your waffles on a wire rack so the steam escapes and doesn't make them soggy. Just about 10 minutes later, golden, beautiful color. I can't wait to sink my teeth into this. Plop that onto some paper towels just to dry out. Take your oil off heat and we are ready to assemble. Add some butter and a piece of chicken onto a stack of waffles. Pour liberally with maple syrup. Ooh, this might be the best bite ever. That is so good. First of all, the chicken is the star of this. It is spiced to perfection. Crispy, crunchy, but soft and juicy on the inside. Crisp, cakey waffles, a little bit of butter, and a lot of maple syrup. I'm in salty sweet heaven. I hope you get a chance to make this recipe, and if you like this video, check out my breakfast playlist.